What is going on YouTube? This is Simon from Team Simon Sir coming to you guys live with a dual network deck profile. And today's deck profile is gonna be me profiling to you guys on Grave Peepers. So I hope you guys like this deck profile. I think this deck is really really fun and competitive to play. And yeah, so let's get started with deck profile guys. So here we go. So of course we played the triple gravekeepers ascendant. Of course, this card is your monster popper of the deck. Uh, you can easily bring him up with spy. Of course, uh, so we play triple descendant, and he also becomes 2k beater with Necroval in the field. Next, we play triple recruiter, your searcher of the deck. What this card basically does is that when this card is sent to the graveyard, add one gravekeeper monster with 50 or, le uh, or less defense from your deck to your hand. So this is able to search out, of course, the descendant, the commandant, and the assailant. It can search out anything in the deck except for, of course, the spy. Uh, next, we play the commandant. You're ter terraforming the deck. This card is amazing. It becomes 2100 beater on board with Necroval on the field. So that's pretty, pretty big. So we play uh, triple commandant. Next, we play, of course, triple Gravekeeper Spy. You're basically your heart of the deck, your engine of the deck. Uh, when this card is flipped, special summon Gravekeeper Monster with 1500 or less attack on your deck. So you special summon anything here except for basically, basically commandant. Next, we play the uh, double Gravekeeper Assailant. I think this card is really, really good. Um, what this card basically does is that it's an enemy, it's an enemy controller. It's able to change. Um, a battle position of one face up your, your opponent monsters control so it basically gets over big uh, any monsters with 2000 or less defense uh, basically with 1900 with 1900 or less defense uh, with, with Necroval in the field so yeah this card is pretty good and last but not least we play two maxis for of course the hand traps uh, ma uh, making you draw more so stop, uh, to stop your opponents from going off yeah after a spell to play, of course, triple power duality for consistency. Uh, you must play the triple duality. It just adds so much consistency, consistency into the deck. When you open up, of course, first turn duality, you're able to. If you don't have spy, if you open up first turn duality, you're gonna be able to search three cards more through your deck to get the spy and set the spy. So uh, yeah. So and this card is uh, this is really special a lot. So power duality is really really good. Next we have, of course double grave gravekeeper spell. Uh, this card is your. Um, Recycler of the deck, uh, it recycles your gravekeepers from your graveyard and it adds them to your hand. Uh, really, really good. Next, we have, of course, triple MSC for the back removal. Um, next, we play the triple Necro Valley, your heart of the deck, uh, your main spell card of the deck. What this card basically does is that all gravekeeper monsters gain founded attack and defense. Cards in either player's graveyard cannot be banished, negate any card effects that, w that would move cards in the graveyard other than itself to, the, to a different place. So basically, gravekeepers uh, basically stop. Uh, dragons. Let's no. Uh, it only stops dragons if the dragons are in the grave already. So let's say they're trying to spot summon title for the grave. They cannot banish anything from the graveyard to special summon uh, the monsters because Necro Valley is on the field. So Necro Valley is really really good. Off to next, we play one dark hole, one royal tribute, and last but not least for our spells, one book of moon. Book of moon is really good because you can uh, set your own spies as well. With Necro Valley on the board, spy becomes twenty five hundred defense. So it's really really good after our traps we play 10 traps we play of course double d prison uh we have heavy traps double d prison double mirror force one compulse one bombless one tt one song warning and last but not least double phoenix chain off to our uh side deck we play of course triple vanny's emptiness uh this card is really really good um vanny's emptiness with the course the key beetle lock is amazing uh let's play the double light prison mirror double iron wall double goes a match Double Smashing Ground, Double Snowman Eater, and one E Virus and one Puppet Plant. For extra, you play one Dire Wolf, one Abyss Dweller, one Corn, one Emerald, one Ouroboros, one Gemlet Pro, one Levier, because you do play level 3s like Recruiters, so you can sometimes go Levier. One Utopia, Double My Stroke, Double Key Beetle, one Cowboy, one Temp Tempo, and last but not least, one Zen Mate. Uh, of course, as I said before, Key Beetle is honestly such an amazing card. Uh, you keep beetle lock, of course, Fanny Sentinels. You keep beetle lock, of course, uh, Necro Valley, stuff like that. Uh, it's really, really good. Uh, keep just like you know, helps you uh, with uh, with you, helps you control the field even more with the key beetle. So it's really, really good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this deck profile. Um, I hope you guys like this deck. L let me know down in, down in the comment section below what you guys think about this deck profile. Thank you guys for watching and peace, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I'll be sure to do do uh, dual videos with this with, with this deck, of course. Thank you guys for watching and Team Samson Sam signing out. Peace.